Des Moines, Iowa. He's representing. My name is Ted Worthington. I'm from Des Moines, Iowa. I train at uh, Des Moines Jiu Jitsu and also at Des Moines Mixed Martial Arts to bounce around a little bit. You know what I mean? My name is Zach McElright. I train at Militage Fighting Systems. I've been a pro for about five years now. Ted is a super game opponent, and I got a lot of respect for him. Um, this, this is not going to be easy. I've trained with the dude. He knows that I can bring it, and I know he can bring it. And he's a good workout partner. He keeps the pace going just like I do. You know, he's a stand-up fighter. He likes to stand and bang. I'm sure that uh, Ted wants to win as, as bad as I do. So, you know, there's really no words to explain how this fight's going to pan out. But uh, I think uh, all the fans are going to remember who I am once I get back in that cage. Losing's not an option, never. I always favor the knockout. That's no secret, you know. Uh, that's what the fans like to see, and that's what I like to do. I don't really care to grapple. I mean, I care to stand and bang. You know, I fought big names. You know, I, I fought big-handed fighters like Terry Martin from the UFC, known for knockouts, just that and the other. I turned that dude into a grappler. Even though I have nothing to do with my stand up at all. I think, I think Ted knows what he's getting into as well as I do. He's actually going to stand and bang with me. I mean, it's going to be one of those fights. It's going to be a good one to watch. A guy like Worthington, we, we talked about possibly having over 100 Before fights. Before the fight, I'll handshake, give him a hug, high five, whatever. But it's game time. When that bell sounds, it's time to go. I'm going to punch you in the face, dude. And that's that in the story. I have all your friends there. Who want me to cheer me? I don't care. I'm going to have people there, too. So <laughs> it is what it is, man. Keep your hands up and chin down because I'm going to be throwing bombs. That's all there is to it. Like I said, losing is not an option, and Ted Worthington isn't going to beat me. Making his way to the cage tonight in our main event here at Cage Aggression 11, the Uprising, Ted Red Worthington with a record of 57 and 37, representing Des Moines of Mar Mixed Martial Arts in Des Moines, Iowa. Let me rewind. Uh, 57 <laughs> to 30, 57 and 37. Yeah, actually, even when I talked to him, he said that his record is probably closer to 64 and 36 or 37. So, you know, 100 fights or so. Right. Like, I mean, what, what could you, what could anybody possibly do in the cage against someone who has fought, you know, over 100 times? I guess just walk in and pass out, and that's how you win. <laughs> like, I, there, there's no, nothing. The answer's nothing. When you fought 100 times, they're, they're, you're not going to see anything new, I'm sorry. Like, you've seen all the spinning kicks, you've seen all, I mean, unless somebody, you know, I don't know, nothing. So, uh, that's very intimidating. But, if, if there's anybody to meet that tonight, it's going to be his opponent, who's been in the big show as oh, well, yeah. in WEC. But, you know, we got a chance to talk to him before. Uh, you know, he was very calm, you know, wanted to do the interview and then just kind of relax before his fight. Yep. And uh, yep. he's not intimidated by... Uh, by Zach at all tonight, so you know I'm re I'm ready to see this main event fight. This, I know this main this event's got a lot to live up to because there's been some spectacular fights tonight. Right. Making his way to the cage tonight in our main event here at Cage Aggression 11, the Uprising, Zach Mickelright with a record of 11 and 2, representing Militage Fighting Systems in Davenport, Iowa. And if you are a fan of the sport, you've got to be a fan of Zach Mickelright. He's already, you know, reached the, pretty much the top in fighting in the WEC in its prime. Uh, didn't have as much success as he wanted to have there. Uh, came back home then went overseas and then served our country so big thank you to him for that uh, oh, which yeah. you know 
that fight right there is is bigger than any fight you're ever going to fight in the cage. So, you know, having said that, his worth, I think, is through the roof. Uh, coming back, you know, fought for Militich, then came back to Militich. Uh, it just, not enough, I can't say enough about this guy. I got a chance to interview him a long time ago for Ola America, uh, you know, when he was getting ready for the WEC. Great guy to talk to, and uh, just hungry, hungry, uh, and, and it takes pride in everything he does. So I'm not surprised tonight that Mike Goodwin and everybody here at Cage Regression MMA put him on the main card tonight. Yeah, the main and, event on and, the main card. And you know, we're sitting backstage at the fighters meeting, you know, a few hours ago. Well, yeah, probably about three, four hours ago at this point. And you know, he's pacing back and forth like a cage animal then. Like, this guy is ready. Yes, he's so. ready. He, it, it's been a while since he's fought here in the Quad Cities, and I know he's, he's ready Ladies to fight in his hometown. This is our main event of the evening, and it's scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the Cage Aggression Professional Welterweight Division, and it's powered by Bud Light. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet, one inches tall, and weighing in at 169 pounds. He trains with the Des Moines Mixed Martial Arts and is sponsored by East Village Chiropractic and Jay Geisler. Joining us from Des Moines, Iowa, Ted Tonight here at Cage Aggression 11, Zach Mickelright versus Ted Worthington. Zach Mickelright in the red shorts with gray trim, Ted Worthington in the red shorts with black trim. Three five minute rounds, ready to go. Co main event. I'm the host, Nick the American Hybrid Cunningham, fresh off a of kick and makeup. Jeremy JD Dorsey, officer yes. from kick and makeup. Let's do it. Let's do this main event right now. Guys, feeling each other out, respecting each other's power. And that's what you see. Already, big shots. Mikurai going in, not, not afraid to throw it all. And one of the things you immediately notice is that, you know, both of these guys are big. Both of these guys have, you know, a lot of power and the, the speed. You know, yeah. it, it's it's a different. It's a step up in class. And I like how I like already how uh, Zach is, is whipping off that body shot. It's one of my favorite shots. Uh, just to stun the body and drop your hands and then go up top. It's like there. I mean, he, he snuck that shot up top. Big thuds by both fighters I right mean, there. Big shots. Oh, goodness. Oh, big shot and by right, both of these guys. And Ted <laughs> answers right back at him, and both fighters are still in the middle and still trading. And there's that body right there. Big shot by Ted back to him. Big shot Another by shot Ted. by Ted back to him. <laughs> <laughs> and then both of these guys are trading. Zach answers the same shot right back to him. <laughs> and, and, and they're still going. Huge kick there by Mickle, right? Oh! And Zach Mickle. Huge knockout. By Mickle Wright. Huge shot by Mickle Wright. Draw out like a ton of bricks. You, you had to see that coming from either yep, way. Yep. Okay. Somebody was going down. Like this is going to be over quick. There's only, you can only take so many of those before you just, it, one just registers and she lands. That's what we do. And like I said before, too, man, like just the, the level, like, you know, you see Mickle Wright come in. He, he, he looks like he's in incredible shape and just. You can just tell that there's like that step up in class. And we saw it. Yeah, we and saw you, it you, it was both evidence. Yeah, like, both of these guys, I mean, both of these guys. Winging shots, landing hard thuds, and thuds always register different than slaps. 
And, uh, and, and both these guys were trading. It, it wasn't like it right. was, you know, that could have went either way right. with both of these guys landing huge shots. Right. And I'll probably say that, you know, that Worthington was, was you know, landing the, the bigger of the shots early on in the fight. Zach Mickelright improves his record at 12 and 2 with his win tonight over Ted Worthington. In just over a minute here at Cage Aggression 11, the Uprising.